video, I want to show you how to create a digital planner and show you some tips and tricks on how to make it easier and faster. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to create a 2024 planner, but you can easily make it to 2025 just by following these easy steps. I've gotten a lot of questions on how to create a landscape planner, so that's why I'm going to show you exactly that. So what you would do is you would go to File, Create New Design, and then your size is going to be 11 to 8.5 in inches. And that's how you create the landscape size. Now, after you do that, what you're going to do is over here, you are going to type in, I need to delete that, uh, black and white 2024 calendar. So this can be 2025 if that's what you're going for. We're going to click enter and then we're going to go and find the calendar that we like. I like this specifically, so we're going to choose this one. And you can apply all 26 pages so that it immediately creates the calendar for you. So now I have the calendar. Now you can't sell the same thing, so you definitely need to make changes. And the way we're going to make changes is we're going to change the fonts. So we're here, for, first of all, I'm going to type in planner instead of calendar. And we're here as well. And what I like to do to make this easier, let's go back a little bit. We're going to click to find. So the shortcut for this is command F. Uh, or I will write it here, command plus F, or if you're using, um, if you're using Windows, it's going to be control plus F. So that opens this window over here. We're going to type here is this word calendar. Now the case doesn't have to match and then we're going to replace it with plan. We're going to click replace all and everything has been replaced where it had calendar. So for example, here now, wall it's only once. So we're going to type in digital and you can always also check if there's more of them. So let's delete that and see if there's more wall. Oh, actually there is. So we're going to type in digital over here and replace all. So now everything's replaced and we're happy. Now, so this is the beginning for the cover. I would recommend that you would create something unique and different. So one of the ways to do that is to, as I said, change the fonts. One of the fonts I really like, we're going to go for it this time. And it's called this one. It's something scan. So I just type in scan usually and it appears as the first one. I can't read it, so it's unreadable. The important part is that we use this font only for the decorative decorative elements because it is a little difficult to read, but I really like the feeling of it. So we're going to choose change all. So we don't have to change all the fonts manually. So this has been changed. And now for this, what I want to do is I like this font to be in uh, not in capital letters. I feel like it looks better personal preference completely, but that's what I'm going to choose. And this basically could go, or I can make the cover color a little different. I can add some elements, whatever you name it, you choose it up to you. So that's it. And then you could do the same for 2025. I would recommend because this is dated, I would recommend that you would choose a planner that's 2025, but either way. So this, I will have to go manually and make sure that everything looks the way I want it to look. But actually, you know, if I'm just changing this, it looks pretty good already. So not to waste your time, I'm not going to change all of them, just a couple of them. And now I want to show you the magic of Canva. So th these are our monthly pages. And what we need is daily pages, which is honestly one of the most painful things you can think of because you have to manually add so many pages. I usually use Google Sheets. You can use Excel. You don't have to do this at all. You can just type it manually, but I'm going to make it into these numbers. And then I'm going to copy those numbers and I'm going to go here. We're going to choose this app. I'm going to go to apps and we're going to choose bulk create. Enter data manually. And here I have number and I add all the numbers manually. Now number is just the title, but then these are the numbers I want Canva to use. So this page specifically, I've created just basically the same way I've created this. I chose a template and then I made changes. Then we're going to select this 
and I'm gonna connect data and then we're gonna choose number. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click continue. We have everything selected and we're gonna generate 31 designs. As easy as that. So now I have 31 days of my content planned for me. Now, but that's not all. That's not all. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a copy of this design and this one, I'm going to type in a name January. And then this one is going to be my February. How does it work? We're going to go select Command F to find January. And we're going to replace it with February. Replace all. Voila. Amazing. Love it. So now I have all these pages made for me. And I would do it for all the other months as well. So we have our daily pages, we have our monthly pages, we would do the same with weekly pages. But the thing I want to show you that most people ask about is how to create hyperlinks. So here in this planner, let's say we want the hyperlinks over here, we would need to add all of our pages now to to complete the whole planner. And the way you would do it is easiest way is just download these images as um, PNGs or JPEGs, whichever you prefer. I do prefer PNGs. So I would just download all of them and then I would go back, upload them, and then I would add those pages to my main calendar. So I would just click and add the page like that. And then you just resize it and here you go. You have your planner ready for you because that's it. That's all you need to do. So now that I have everything added, I have all my pages and so on, you can add the hyperlinks in Canva like this. So I would go to elements and I would, let's say you want a planner with tabs. So you can just um, type in rectangle and choose a rectangle that you like. So let's say I like these ones. I'm going to do this on January. Let's copy this and let's just name it our index index page. So I have it and this is where all of the good stuff will go. So this is the one and now I can just add the hyperlinks. So I'm going to make it smaller like that. So this is it. I can choose the color and so on. I don't worry about them too much at this point because I'm going to make changes to them, but basically I need 12 of them. So I'm going to create, I'm going to duplicate them. I'm holding option key uh, to just drag them. And then I have three, I have six. I'm going to select all of them. You could also copy and paste, but I prefer to just uh, use the option key. Let me type it here. So you see it option key. I hope you see it. Um, but it's up to you. So I have six and I'm going to multiply them. Let me move myself over here. And then now that I have these, I can choose how I want them. So if I want them bigger, smaller and so on. So let's say I'm happy with this and I can also make them aligned. So if I select this, I can position and align them, even though this time they're all aligned perfectly, so I don't need to do anything else. So we have these tabs and we can change their color to whatever we want. And that's it. The tabs are ready. Now for this, we do want probably uh, to name them. So in that case, I would just duplicate this, make it smaller, and then I would name each tab. So let's say it's January, February, and so on. So let's do it like that. Or you can name them numbers as well. That's also an option. For example, here I have it as numbers. So I'm going to copy these just so you don't have to wait for me to uh, add all of them. And let's just let me copy that. Let me go back and then paste the ones I need. So I'm going to paste them over here and then I'm going to move them on top of the tabs. Now, again, I don't worry about them too much. I'm going to put the first one where it needs to be and the last one where it needs to be. And then I'm just going to put all of them 
together. So we're going to go position, vertically, and that's it. So we have our tabs ready. I'm going to group them so it's easier for me and voila, that's it. So now, how do we hyperlink? So once you have either an element or a text, you can hyperlink really easily by choosing more and choosing link and then choosing the page that you want. So for example, if my page is January, I'm going to choose this one because this is the January page. You can also add titles to these so that once you're hyperlinking, it's easier for you to know which one you're hyperlinking. And also if this is annoying for you, just for the, you know, for the moment, you can move it aside and then hyperlink like this. So we're going to link and choose January 2024, if that's what it is, or February, if that's what it is. So basically the main pages I would need to hyperlink, I would just type them in. So for example, February 2024 and so on. You can also hyperlink it to this page if that's what you want. So like that. So if I go back to my hyperlinks and I look, I see it over here. So it's easier for me to know that it's the correct one. And then I'm going to link and choose, for example, February, you know, whichever I want. So that's it. That's all you need to know with hyperlinks. Now, the most important thing that you need to know is when you download the file. So when you download the file, you are going to choose a PDF standard because that's the one that's going to make the links work still. Now, if you are going to create a very big document, you have to keep in mind that Canva only, only allows 200 pages. So that's why I usually personally prefer to hyperlink everything in Affinity. This is the program. If you want me to create a video on how to hyperlink in Affinity Publisher, just let me know in the comments. Or you could use Google Slides or you could use PowerPoint. I've noticed that for Mac specifically, for PC, it's okay. PowerPoint is amazing and it's great. For Mac, it doesn't work. PowerPoints, the links get all messed up. I don't know what's wrong. It just doesn't work. If somebody can figure that out for me, just let me know. You could also use InDesign, but I've noticed that a lot of people are kind of discouraged by the pricing of InDesign. InDesign is my go-to. It is number one for me. Affinity is number two, but it is cheaper. So I am assuming you'll probably like it as well. Okay, that's it for this video. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions and see you next time. Bye.